The History of Riddings Park Part 4 The Grand Reopening Following the £2 million renovations, Riddings Park was reopened on Sunday the 19th of May 2019 by the Worshipful Mayor of Hindburn, Councillor June Harrison. Anne Warrington, Chair of the Friends of Riddings Park, takes up the story. Opening day was uh, very, very busy. Uh, <laughs> I was in the cafe behind the counter and the cafe was absolutely crazily, busily mad and was dragged out on two occasions. The first one was for the official opening, which was amazing. We were out in the kitchen garden and the mayor obviously revealed the plaque and said lots of nice words. There were people from the lottery there and people from the council, from Newground. And I don't quite know how it happened, but a, a chap from Positive Mills just emailed us and said, I've got the original key to the park gate. Would you like to borrow it? So um, Andrew Hayhurst wandered around with the key from the, the original gate from 1909 when the gates were open to the public. So we were all sort of so impressed and so delighted to have this piece of history in our hands in essence. And the second time I came out from behind my kitchen counter um, was to speak to uh, the chap from Radio Lancashire. Um, so that was quite nice to know that the park was being recognised and we were important enough to to feature on the radio show. We had the performance area, the Civic Centre came and did uh, a nice performance. We had different events, crafts, arts, Pilates, yoga, all sorts going on in the day. We wanted it just to be a normal day for us with the added bonus of lots and lots of people here to, to see what we did. So as somebody who, who's local and, and used to see uh, lots of dog walkers in the park, but that was pretty much it. And if it was a nice sunny day, and the park would be full of children. Now it feels much more of a community space. There's lots and lots of families. Um, there's lots of people that are very regular tenders, um, both to the garden and to the coach house. Um, the one particular lady after a bereavement, um, it was five weeks after her husband had died and we were just opening and we literally hooked her in and said, hello, have a cup of tea. She's been with us ever since and comes to lots and lots of events. So it, the usage, we're up to about 250 people coming through the court shows every week. The reopening was a great success and local residents were interviewed on the day. Hi, so I'm Amanda and I'm one of the volunteers in the kitchen garden. And today I've come to help with the archaeological dig and over the next three weeks I will be having the school children and community. I brought my daughter along today, um, she's having fantastic fun, she's been doing all sorts of crafts. She's now actually digging the turf for the trenches that will be dug up tomorrow and uh, I think she's going to see a play later on and we're having heaps of fun um, and I think it's a brilliant project. I'm Arthur Williams and I think this is tremendous and I think need some more people coming in to volunteer but um, at the minute it's going very well. Uh, I'm Catherine, you've spoken to my dad earlier. I started bringing him down here in December. He's a retired farmer. I needed something for him to be able to get on and do that was his project, his getting out meeting people. So I've seen this place right from the very, very start. I am hugely impressed both what they've done with the plants and what they're doing for the people. Hi, I'm Ashley. This is Eloise. We've come down today to see the new Readings Park now it's officially been, it's been opened after the, uh, the lottery grant. I think it's amazing, all the plants, seeing it all grow. It's going to be a great idea to bring children, get them involved, get them encouraged to, uh, to see nature at its best. So uh, we'll come again and thank you for everybody who's, uh, who's done it for us. Uh, hi, I'm Beth. I'm a local resident and I just came down here to see what the park was like and how, is it in, how it's improved and I'm really happy with all the different things that have come because I feel like it's really improved and there'll be a lot more people coming here because of the improvements. Hello, I'm Chloe Fitzpatrick and I'm from the Civic Arts Centre and today we're doing arts and crafts with the children. We're making Aussie rocks, we're doing highway rat masks and we've got a performance down there at three o'clock and I think it's amazing what the park have done. It's a great way to get the community back together. My name's Fiona. We've come from Ramsbottom to visit this lovely place today that a relative of ours has opened and it's just great to see families, children, 
disabled people coming down and enjoying healthy food as part of a lifestyle and learning lots about it. My name is Gwen, I'm a local resident and I'd like to be a volunteer at some stage because they've done an amazing job in the park. I need to find out a little bit more of what's involved but uh, it seems great, all the communities come together and uh, yes I'd like to give it a go. My name's John, we live just round the corner locally. I was come to have a look at what's going on today. We're impressed with the flower beds because we've seen these on the television but it's usually down south somewhere. It never seems to come up north and we're really impressed with it. Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm with the Civic Arts Centre and Theatre. We've been painting lots of rocks and decorating masks and colouring in things for, with lots of children. I really like the park and all the new stuff that's going on. I think it's really, really awesome and it'll be super duper cool in the future. Hi, um, I'm Rachel Berry. Um, I came to the park a few months ago for the first time since it's been redone and I visited the cafe, absolutely fantastic little cafe. Um, prices are wonderful, food's great and the atmosphere's great. Um, I did used to come to the park before all the new new bits have been added and it was looking a little bit sorry for itself. We used to visit the little uh, bit with the, with the animals and when that, that went I was a little bit, oh you know, things are changing but things have changed for the better and it's a wonderful little place now. Um, today we've been doing all the arts and the crafts, the children have been to a photography course, um, I've taken my little one on the park, there's just everything to do and wonderful day out. My name's Ruth, I come to the park regularly with my children and my dog. It's absolutely fantastic what they've done to the uh, new area. They're really enjoying myself, had lots of fun creating lots of crafty things, the kids are loving it. I'm Ryan Duxbury, um, I live local to the park. Uh, I grew up around here and um, played in the park and it's, it's great to see what they've done. Watch the full process from, from the new buildings to the, all the planters and I, I think we've just come for a walk around today and I think it's fantastic what everyone's done, all the volunteers and, and everybody, everybody's time that they've put in. It's great. They were joined by representatives from the various groups who had been involved in the renovations and the leader of Hindburn Borough Council, Councillor Miles Parkinson. Today, the layout of the park still owes much to Robert Watson's house, which was situated behind the ornamental balustrade. The site of Riddings Hall is still clearly visible in the modern landscape as a raised grass-covered level platform, and the layout still bears a strong resemblance to the Ordnance Survey map of the area from 1851. The project has made a real and lasting difference to how the park is viewed and used by local people and will ensure that the changes can be maintained by creating new income sources to reinvest in the heritage of the park for years to come. The grand reopening was written by Ken Moss with thanks to Hindburn Borough Council Accrington Library, Lancashire Records Office, and Chris Burnett Associates. Music was by the Grimethorpe Colliery Band and Kevin MacLeod. The programme was produced by Maverick Productions for Hindburn Borough Council. <laughs>